You're with Cricketry on the Papare.com at the end of uh, the second one day international between Sri Lanka and South Africa. Once again, the news is not very good, but if you look back, I think the Sri Lankans will be the first to admit that a lot of uh, mistakes made by them were the actual cause for this defeat. Now, to start with, Sri Lanka made just 243. Now, one wonders after they won the toss on a decent surface whether they had made enough runs. Well, the Sri Lankan middle order struggled again. Now, we did see that when you look at uh, the Sri Lankan rate of scoring from about the 10th to the 40th over and the 40th to the 50th over, the Sri Lankans aren't doing too well in the world stage. Now, that was prevalent once again here. The opener, well, Upul Taranga getting out quickly and then Kusal Mendis being dismissed. Then a partnership, but no, nothing really big coming through. Angelo Matthews tried hard, but I can tell you that 243 that Sri Lanka made was definitely 30 runs short but on the surface I still thought that there might be something for the spinners because it was dry and certain areas were spinning now what Sri Lanka needed was a solid start with the ball that is every half chance taken every run prevented but what we saw on the contrary was something completely different now catchers been missed in fact three catchers Rajita's one was difficult but the two chances of the openers to Kusal Pereira and to Akhila Dhananja should have been taken and then the number of missed fields Suddenly, Sri Lanka did find that Am Amla and Quinton de Kock had got the game away from them. And the way these South African openers battered really made Sri Lanka bowl defensively. Now, had those two catchers been taken, South African situation would have been different and Sri Lanka could have applied more pressure with spin. But instead, what Sri Lanka was doing was catching up. With the two openers going after the bowling, the run rate being good, the Sri Lankan spinners were always on the defensive. It was never ever easy in that situation to go on and get wickets because you're walking a thin line there's very little runs to defend and the batsman going after the bowling now once again I wish to emphasize had the catchers been taken had the fielding improved maybe the situation would have been different one of the glaring point that I saw was that the bowling that needed support for Akila Dhananjay. Dhananjay once again I thought was outstanding he was the only positive from a Sri Lankan point of view but the rest of the bowling I thought was found wanting. Lairu Kumar injured, the extra pace would have been handy. But the rest of the bowling, well, I don't think they look threatening at all. And in the end, there were a few hiccups for South Africa, but Sri Lanka made it, uh, South Africa, I beg your pardon, made it quite easily. So a lot of work for Sri Lanka ahead. They'll have to really play well from here. To start with, they got to win the next game, which happens at Pallikali. Now that's a day game. They need to win that to stay in the contest. If they lose it, the series is gone. So that's the first one. So going in there, the Sri Lankans will be under some pressure. But Angelo Matthews speaking at the post-match presentation certainly put on a brave face and he felt that there is a lot of positives and Sri Lanka are ready for the fight. I'm certainly hoping that the Sri Lankans will come up with something special when the next game happens at Pallikali.